Hello, it is currently 11 o'clock, 24th of April 2023, which means that the Crash Team Rumble beta is coming to an end. And to mark this, I kind of wanted to just talk about what I thought about the game, what I think its future will be, and where I think it could be improved, where I think they did good. I'll jump right into it, I won't stall you guys' this time. I thought that the game was okay, and I'll break that down in terms of what I mean by that, because that's very vague, I understand, but to go through the pros and cons in no particular order i'm just gonna list what i thought about it i thought the online play was good but admittedly it was kind of laggy especially when there were three plus people four or five people around it would be kind of hard to tell what you were exactly getting hit by but when there were just two people in an area just scrapping i, I thought the online play actually did pretty well with it but when there were multiple people in an area it felt like i couldn't really tell what i was getting hit by if i was hitting them i like didn't know what the hell was happening this might just be because i am terrible at the game as well as that i would like to add in terms of online play i thought that the matchmaking waiting times were good that they were good i have no complaints there i felt like i was able to find games really really quickly as for the loading times i thought the loading times were good i was praying that we didn't have another crash team racing nitro fueled situation where the loading times i'm 23 years old and suddenly the loading times are done and i'm 33 luckily we didn't have to deal with that the loading times were quite nice i think they were like seven eight seconds on ps4 and then you were in a game so that was great this might just be a complaint from me because of the players i was playing against i'm sure by now and especially when the game comes out there will be tons of counterplay and everything but dingo dial seemed absolutely broken and listen coming from me dingo dial is my boy but even i could see that he was broken at times maybe that was just because the people i was playing against were just completely terrible there's a very very good chance so that's the case but also he did seem incredibly broke in terms of and moving on to my probably final point before i discuss the future of the game although this does kind of come into the future of the game i think this being a beta obviously there's nowhere even close to the content that they're gonna make for it so i think that more maps and characters coming aren't just good i think it's kind of needed because i don't think the game is going to survive with just the scorer blocker dynamic it's good but it, there needs to be more characters with more can play more specific roles because as it stands currently i don't think i've played in a game where strategy was required i think it was very much just like everyone do their own thing and pray that you win something again maybe it was just the players i was playing against and playing with but it did feel like at times that we were just almost playing our own game and just hoping that we got enough one per at some point to win i saw dingo dials that's supposed to be like the blocker role get like 700 one per in a game and i played on a team i think that had three dingo dials and one scorer so it's like strategy is clearly not that important at least right now but that just be could be excuse me because the meta of the game is still developing this being a beta after all and this only being the first five days of the game being out so i think more maps and characters are needed just for content as well as i think the game lacks a lot of variety and the current characters that are in it there isn't a meta to build off or anything like that yet so that's my opinion on that finally uh, after listing a bunch of good things and bad things about the game was it worth the pre-order maybe for me was it worth it yes because i was able to stream on twitch and it was a stream and you know it's worth it for me but is it worth it for the average person i don't know and the reason i say that is because i think that in my experiences of talking to people and understanding their opinions about the game i think that there are a lot of people that had really really low expectations going in and they hate it there are a lot of people that had really really high expectations going in and they love it i feel as if a lot of people had preconceived notions of what they were going to think about the game before the game even came out and because of that it's really really hard to say was it worth the pre-order because it kind of boils down to what you want to believe because in my opinion the game's a solid six out of ten like it's okay it's okay it, i don't think it's much more than okay but it's solid again i think there are a lot of things to improve on but i also think there's a lot of things that are good the online servers were shockingly optimized in terms of i was finding games immediately in three or four years when this game isn't as popular will it be that good i don't know but for now it was very good i don't 
exactly know how to how to say if this was worth it to buy. All I can say is this. If you want to enjoy a new Crash game, then buy the game. It's probably, you're probably going to really enjoy it. You know, all the Crash characters are there. Great. If you wanted a original Crash game, but perhaps isn't, or it rather is the same as what you're used to, don't get it. Because you're going to be very disappointed. Because this is a brand new thing that they've done. One more thing that I didn't even touch on yet. And I just forgot to write in my notes. Which I guess I'm going to just talk about now before I end. I can't believe we've got a Crash game with a Battle Pass. Like, that's just insane. I can kind of see it now on Twitter in five months time. When, because there's a Battle Pass and like cosmetics. This game is obviously going to have like microtransactions. And a kind of currency that you can buy to buy emotes and cosmetics medics and that's pretty obvious like that's pretty obvious and, and i feel like that's gonna happen I guess my one thing would be probably don't be disappointed when that does happen don't raise your pitchforks and go oh screw activision i hate you because it's activision we know what we're getting into here there's already a battle pass there's already cosmetics we know what's happening overall i feel like yeah it's it's all right it's all right it's no more than all right it's no less than all right i'm sorry but i don't have a super hot take for you on the game but it's all right it's not bad oh one more thing before I end. Will I be covering it when it releases in June? Yes. Yes, I will. Absolutely, I will. Because it'll be interesting to see. It'll be very interesting to see what the game is like then. So, yeah. That about wraps it up. Thank you for watching. I'll be going back to my Crash Team Racing den <laughs> for the next two months and hope to see you all over on the Twitch channel. Alright, peace, peace. See you then.